everybody. Today's book is going to be Good Night You, written and illustrated by Genevieve Cote. It's almost night and I can't wait for our first camp out. Eek! She's scared of pigs. Shadow. I thought a monster was coming to get me. Hee <laughs> hee. It was only my shadow. See? Oh, does my shadow scare you too? No, and even if there was a monster, I wouldn't scream like you. But what if that monster is big and ugly? I can make faces that look just as scary. What if it creeps a little too close? I can step back and tickle its nose. What if the monster growls at you? What? I can be loud too. And what if the monster wants to eat you for supper? I'll give it my cookies instead and send it straight to bed. Hmm, maybe I can sing a lullaby so sweet the monster will fall asleep. I can even turn off the light and wish the monster good night. No! I'm a wee bit scared of the dark. Oh. But when it's dark, there are a million stars to see. Hmm, twinkling stars are pretty. Well, we can watch the night sky together if you want. And we can scare off any monster that comes around. Tonight we'll sleep tight, me and you. All right, guys, that was our book for today. I hope you enjoyed it. We are now going to take our practice quiz. Remember, you have 10 seconds to answer. Let's go. Let's get started. All righty. Who are the main characters? The bunny and the pig, the cat and the dog, the boy and the girl. 10 seconds, everybody. All right, if you said the bunny and the pig, great job. Which character is scared in the beginning? The bunny, the shadow, or the pig? 10 seconds. All right, if you said the bunny was scared at the beginning, great job. Who is the bunny? Why is the bunny scared? He was scared. He heard a scary noise. He thought a, he saw a monster or he was scared of the dark. 10 seconds. He thought, if he said he thought he saw a monster, you got it. All right. Is the pig scared of the shadow? No or yes. 10 seconds. You said the pig was not afraid of the shadow. You got it. What is the pig scared of? The dark, ghosts, or monsters? 10 seconds. If you said the pig was scared of the dark, you got it. What can you see when it's dark? Clouds, stars, or rainbows? 10 seconds. If you said the stars, you are correct. All right, what is the setting of the story? Outside, in the house, or at the beach? 10 seconds, guys. All righty, if you said the setting is outside, you are correct. Right. What is the main idea of this story? Um, bunny and pig are having a camp out. The bunny and pig are playing a game. The bunny and pig are friends. 10 seconds.
if you said the bunny and pig are having a camp out good job all right what happens in the beginning of the story the pig and bunny look at the stars the bunny is scared of a shadow the pig is not scared of a shadow 10 seconds Okay, um, so we have two possible answers. So if you pick the bunny is scared of a shadow, you are correct. And if you pick the pig is not scared of a shadow, you are also correct. Um, so let's see here. So if you picked either one, good job. What happens in the middle of the story? The pig is not scared of the shadow. The bunny gets ready to ready for the camp out. Uh, they go to sleep. All right, if you said the pig is not scared of the shadows, what happened in the middle of the story? Great job. And now we are on our last question, everybody. What happens in the end of the story? The pig and the bunny watch the stars together. The pig makes funny faces. The bunny is scared of the shadow. 10 seconds. All right, at the end of the story, they watch the stars together. Great job. All righty, that was our book and practice quiz for today. Thank you so much for being here and listening. Um, as always, I want you to go back and listen to the story at least one more time before you take your practice, your real test on Clever. Um, and with that, Miss Jefferson's going to bring up her quiz number. Your quiz number today is going to be 169451. Again, it's going to be 169451. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you for reading this book with me today. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.